This is the best method for making gold in Sea of Thieves as a solo player. This gold making method is so simple that even the worst of pirates can do it with ease. And by the end of this video, you will know how to achieve this method the fastest way possible. Gold in Sea of Thieves is used by all players, whether you are a new player wanting to buy that new hat or an experienced player trying to buy the Dark Adventure sales. We all want as much gold as we can get our hands on. And this method works great for both players. However, it is especially useful for you newer players because of how simple and straightforward it is. The method we're going to be talking about in this video is known as commodity runs. These runs earn you an average of 60k an hour with little to no effort. If you have no idea what they are, commodity runs have you sail from outpost to outpost, traveling all around the map, transporting crates of goods between. Every outpost has a surplus and a sought after good. So you have to buy whatever the good is surplus at the outpost you spawn and deliver it at whichever outpost is sought after that good. The surplus good is the cheapest one from the merchant. However, I'm about to show you the best way to use commodity runs in your favor and earn easy gold in the process. Before we get into it, it would mean a lot if we reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So if you like Sea of Thieves content and find this video helpful, help me out by subscribing and you can always unsubscribe later. Okay, so to begin, open the first link in the description, which is a website that we're going to be looking at throughout this method. This website will lead you to a map that shows the routes needed for this method. All right, now vote up the merchant emissary flag, which is needed to buy the crate. At this point, there are two different methods that you can do. And depending on how much time you have to play or how much effort you want to put in, you can choose either one. The first option is to just do the run on its own and earn a decent amount of money while doing so. However, if you want to put in more time and effort and therefore earn more profit, you should first get your emissary flag to level five. The easiest way to get it to level five is by doing a lost shipment mission from the merchant. Doing this quest should only take about 20 minutes and should get you the level five flag you need. Once your flag is level five, you will then earn a 2.5 multiplier on all the profits made. So it does take extra time, but you will be greatly rewarded for this extra work. However, it is entirely up to you because I normally don't bother personally. Okay, so now to the runs themselves. Begin by checking what island you're on and then check the website opened earlier to see what route you need to take. Keep in mind that these routes are always changing, so always check back to the website to know the most up-to-date route because it's always updated whenever it changes. The rest is super simple. Go up to the merchant, head over to our second tab, and where you can see all of these crates, buy all of the cheapest option available. The rest is very simple. Just follow the website from whichever outpost you're on to whichever outpost it tells you to go to, and then keep repeating this for as long as you want. I tend to have YouTube on my second monitor just to kill the long travel time between outposts because the travel time is the only downside to this method. But as long as you've got something to do, you'll be fine. Just a quick disclaimer to let you guys know that even though this method is low risk, that does not mean that you won't find any players at all. While getting the playtest footage for this video, I did end up running into one crew. Thankfully, they were chill. But just to let you know that there is a chance you'll still run into players even though it's low risk. That's it for this method. Subscribe for more Sea of Thieves content. Goodbye.